So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today we will talk about the image metadata in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So generally a satellite comes with the different metadata. The information about an imagery including the projections, sun angle and cloud cover. So we're going to see more than a hundred different metadata in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So here we're going to start with the uh, is the image metadata first we're going to see how to load an image so here we have variable specifying an image equal to double dot image here we are referring to a landsat 8 uh, landsat image the landsat 8 with the collection one and top of an atmosphere and landsat 8 uh, specifying the date of 2016 and fifth month and 23rd So using this uh, particular script, we're going to uh, load an Landsat 8 image with the collection 1 from top of an atmosphere with the specific date of referring to 2016, 5th month and 23rd. So this uh, script is used to load the Landsat 8 image with a particular date. So next is, so the next script defines the so after loading an image, you want to visualize an image in Google Earth Engine. So to visualize an image in Google Earth Engine, we are defining a variable called visualization true. That is a true color composite a variable called visualization true and bands indicating band 5, band 4 and band 3 in Landsat 8 image. So the minimum and the maximum value here 0 and 0 0.5 represents the the top of an atmosphere value. So next is uh, next script is, is to add the map uh, map dot add layer. The map dot add layer. Uh, it's such a it's uh, this script is used to uh, import this layer into Google Earth Engine. There is referring that is to add a layer into a Google Earth Engine. So using the map dot add layer, we have our image referring to this image, and the visualization true referring to this one and we are with the name uh, with the name suggesting a true color composite so it is a true color true color composite so let me explain once more after defining your visualization parameter so i will add, add a map dot layer so which will display the satellite image so the image uh, image here that refers to this image, the satellite image, and this visualization, uh, the visualization true that represents this function. We have already said that a parenthesis indicates it is a function. So it is a visualization true that is a true color composite. So that has been named as a true color composite. So last, uh, the script here defines the map dot center an object image comma 9 indicates that suppose i want to center the map uh, center the map i'm going to use the func i'm going to use the script called map dot center object so image that refers this this particular image that centers that particular image with a zoom scale of 9 so now let me uh, run the script so let me uh, go to the option called run script and let me run this So you can see in the background. So this is a Landsat 8 image. So this is the Egypt. So the red color here indicates the vegetation, which represents the NIR band. So NIR band generally uh, displays the vegetation in uh, red color. So this is a it is a false color composite. So suppose if you want to turn off this layer, go to the option called layers and turn off. So uh, you can even turn on it. So suppose if you want to view the map uh, in a satellite mode, let me click the option called satellite. So this is a satellite image. So let me turn this off. 
let me turn this on so the most important thing we have to do is is to explore the image metadata in the satellite image like what is a cloud cover so suppose if you want to get uh, information about the bands so let me show you that so how to get an information about the bands as a list so to do that let me show you that so i define a variable called band names equal to the image dot band names the image refers to this previously we uh, imported image and dot band names is a function and similarly print band names so the band names and the far the various uh, the thing we want is the then uh, band names so now let me uh, run this the go to this option called run script run so we have a list of uh, 12 band names we have list of 12 elements so here we have about band uh, 1 to band 11 we have 11 different bands and bqa is a quality assurance the band quality assurance data so it defines the quality of each pixel in that imagery so here we have a, a landsat 8 imagery so suppose any cloud contamination or any atmospheric contamination can be referred in bqa so next is uh, to how to get a projection information from band 3 for that let us define a variable called var b band 3 proje projection equal to image dot select so b3 refers to the band 3 dot projection so let me suppose if you want to uh, print the uh, to output this pro projection details we have to use this uh, option function call print uh, let me uh, give some uh, details uh, a text an output text called band 3 projection that b3 project refers to this variable so now let me uh, run this code so let me explain once more to get a projection information from the band 3 we are defining a variable band 3 projection image dot select selecting the band 3 dot projection so finally to get the information out we need to define a print with a string or a character defining band 3 projection and a variable called b3 projection so we define here so let us run this code go to the option called run run script click that so it is loading here so yes we got the information so the type uh, the type projection is this and uh, er uh, crs is uh, the projection type is of uh, epsg 32636 it is the projection type so next is uh, to how to get a scale in meters uh, information from band one suppose if you want to know the resolution or the scale of the band one uh, band one you can define as to uh, let me show you that so let me define a variable called variable band 3 scale referring to a band 3 band 3 scale so image dot select image dot select so we are uh, focusing that uh, uploaded image that is referring to this one this image so here the image dot select band 3 so we are referring to band 3 dot projection dot nominal scale so this nominal this function here which uh, gives us the the scale of that uh, band the band 3 so to print that information out we are giving a print band 3 scale and referring to b3 scale the variable here defined here so now let us run this uh, script go to this option called run So you can see that a band uh, band three scale is 30. 
So next, uh, we have to note that different bands can have a different projection and scale. So let me show you for band five. So let me uh, let us run the script. So this is the variable. We're defining a band five scale. Image dot selecting band five dot projection dot nominal scale referring to we need the scale uh, scale of that particular band and to uh, get that information print band phi scale b phi scale referring to this variable so now let us run this script go to this option called run run so here we have a uh, information on the band's phi scale we have the information that is it is also a 30 meter so this is a landsat 8 image from usgs so you can see that the band phi that is referred to a nir band which has a resolution of that is a scale of 30 meters and similarly previously we saw the band 3 image that is green that is also a 30 meter scale a resolution so next uh, next we uh, we shall move to the suppose if we want to get uh, the list of uh, to get a, a metadata for uh, metadata for all the all the information in the landsat uh, image so listing all the metadata properties we're using this function call let me show you so using this function called the var a variable called properties and defining an image dot referring to the property names so this particular function uh, gives uh, all the uh, metadata information of that per, of that uh, image so suppose if you want to uh, output that information you are using a print dot metadata properties and referring to that uh, variable called properties so now uh, let me run this so here so here we can see that the metadata properties we have a list of 162 elements now let me show you that so we have variety of uh, metadata information from landsat 8 image so varying from uh, lot of uh, there's a lot of information in this so we have a variety of uh, metadata ranging from saturation band radiance elevation thermal sample ground control points so we have a variety of informations you can see sun uh, earth sun distance reflectance band and uh, there's a lot of uh, informations so there is an around 162 metadata elements so in this video i have shown you how to load an image how to load a landsat 8 image and how to center and display an image and how to get an information about the band uh, about the bands and how to get the projection information and get the scale about scale information for each uh, each particular bands and uh, how to list all metadata properties so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel